In Tuscaloosa County, some new reaction from Tuscaloosa leaders to that push to widen I-65 from one state line to the other. Tuscaloosa Mayor Watt Maddox responding to Lieutenant Governor Will Ainsworth's criticism of LDOT for focusing on the Highway 43 corridor from Tuscaloosa to Mobile. Brian Henry joins us now from Tuscaloosa. Brian, tell us more. Well, Sarah and Jonathan, first of all, uh, Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox agrees with the Lieutenant Governor that I-65 needs to be widened from Calera, especially from Calera to Montgomery, but disagrees with Lieutenant Governor Ainsworth on the notion that too much focus is being placed on the new Highway 43 corridor being built right now in West Alabama. Now, you may recall state and regional leaders broke ground on that project more than a year ago. The Lieutenant Governor has publicly said that he felt there is far less traffic on 43 than I-65. This is what Mayor Maddox said about the matter earlier this week. I think that the, the push for the 65 expansion is actually a justifiable one. We've all been stuck on 65 south of Montgomery, but I don't think we should make it an either or case. Uh, the governor passed Rebuild Alabama, not just for one road, but multiple roads across the state. Let's find a way to do both. Let's don't pit one side of Alabama against the other. Now, during the regular legislative session back in the spring, Alabama lawmakers passed a resolution calling on LDOT to study and prioritize widening I-65 from Tennessee all the way to Mobile. In Tuscaloosa, Brian Henry, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side.